Welcome back to our video roundup. I'm Valerie Jimison and I'm going to take you through my favourite three science videos from the past week. First off, forget phones or texting. Some squid seem to prefer conventional ink to communicate. This squid may look relaxed, but researchers are finding that a jet of squid ink can quickly jolt it into action. Here ink is squirted into the tank to test this squid's reaction. After a few seconds, it suddenly darts away. The researchers wanted to see if the squid was responding to the sight of the ink or its chemical presence. Here they inject squid ink that's had its pigment removed. The squid doesn't seem bothered, which suggests that it was reacting to the colour of the ink in the previous experiment. Squid probably use ink to distract predators and make their escape, and researchers now think other squid pick up on it and use the ink as a signal of danger. Next, some talented people are able to get worms to rise up from the ground, but researchers are now uncovering the secrets of their success. Sanjin Kerstemont tells us more. When Gary Ravel needs bait for a fishing trip, he uses a peculiar method called worm grunting to collect worms. <coughs> By planting a wooden stake in the ground and rubbing the top with a long piece of steel, he creates vibrations that drive earthworms to the surface. Researchers recently investigated how the technique works. They tested whether worms rise up from the ground because they think they're being pursued by a mole. A box was filled with soil and worms and a mole was sent inside. Earthworms quickly scurried to the surface, just like they had when Gary used his stake. The researchers found that the mole produced a range of frequencies as it moved underground, which included the relatively constant pitch created by the vibrating rod. So although worm charmers work their magic, it's all down to them mimicking the threat of an approaching mole. Last but not least, we look at a pill that can morph into a sponge. This man is gulping down a capsule and a string that could soon be used to diagnose a condition that can lead to esophageal cancer. Once it's swallowed, the capsule expands into a sponge that collects cells from the person's stomach. As the nurse pulls up the string, the sponge also gathers cell samples from the gullet, throat and mouth. These are then sent to labs for analysis. Currently, the condition is diagnosed by obtaining tissue samples through an invasive and expensive procedure. That's all for now, but you'll find plenty more science stories on our website. For example, find out how some spark experiments from the 1950s could hold the key to life on Earth. Or tell us what you think will be the next communication technology to change the world, for a chance to win a six-month subscription to New Scientist. Bye for now, see you next time.